Okay. Oh, let's see. Before I retired from the Pima County Attorney's Office, um, I learned a few things. I learned that the people I prosecute are not much different from me, that they are as capable of the good in me as I am of the evil in them. So I looked at the people I prosecuted as, but for the grace of God, there go I, that they and I were the same kind of people. So one day during my work, I was uh, moving my office from downtown to the uh, juvenile facility. And I had my truck all locked up and I was putting stuff in it, locking it, going back to the office, unlocking it back and forth. I made five or six trips, but about on the second trip, I noticed, noticed this young African-American man, and he was just hanging around. There's really nobody else downtown in Tucson at the time, because it was a Saturday morning. And um, I just noticed him doing what I was doing. I just locked the truck back up, went upstairs, got some more stuff, brought it back, opened up my truck. And as I was putting it, uh, the stuff in my truck, he was still there. He was uh, hanging around. And I went back one more time after locking up my truck. And I'm conscious of the fact that I'm locking up the truck every time in front of this young African-American fella. And uh, it just, I thought to myself, how stereotypical of behavior. But I was doing it for other reasons. The next time I came down, I was ready to leave. And I looked at him and I, I asked him what he was doing. And he told me it was, he was you know, waiting for the bus. He had to take a bus. And something about his presentation and everything just spoke to me. And I, uh, I went, you just got out of prison, didn't you? And he said, yes, today. I got off the bus from the Department of Corrections. They dropped me off downtown. I said, well, where do you live? He says, I live in Phoenix. And I says, why didn't they take you to Phoenix? Well, they didn't. They dropped this young man off in the middle of downtown. And uh, my heart opened up at that point. And I went, well, the bus station's over there, but how much money do you have? And uh, he didn't have any that I knew of. So I pulled out my wallet. I was ready to give him whatever it was needed, but I only had $13 in my wallet. So I gave him everything I had, and it wasn't enough. And I, I wished him well. And he said to me, he says, are you a minister? And my answer was, no, I'm just a Christian. And uh, but the generosity that I felt that day was a generosity of spirit. And uh, I didn't ever think of it then, but thinking of it now, I should have gone to an ATM and given him more. <laughs>